Doreen had a hobby. Now, it was something I had no interest in, but she adored football. When the World Cup was on, you never visited Doreen Valiente. And Ray Buckland, who is a lovely, lovely man, had come from America to England and he wanted to meet Doreen. So he found her address and he went and knocked on the door of the flat. Unfortunately, the World Cup was on. She didn't answer. She heard him knocking. So he decided, well, maybe she's not in and maybe she just keeps the television on when she's out so it sounds as if the house is occupied. He went and bought her an enormous bouquet of flowers. And the next day he took the flowers back to the flat. The World Cup was still on and she still was not opening the door. So he knocked on the door and he left an envelope saying who he was and that um, he originally had been a gardenerian and these flowers were for her. She didn't reply. So Ray thought, how terribly rude of her. He didn't understand about Doreen and the World Cup. Even Stuart and I would not go near when the World Cup was on. So when she finally did open the door, there was the envelope and there was the bouquet of flowers. And Stuart and I were going down to visit her because my coven maiden Virginia had helped her discover the history of Dorothy Clutterbuck and had researched who her family were because Ginny discovered it was through the Indian Army and was able to fill in a lot of the gaps on old Dorothy. So we'd gone down to talk to Doreen about these discoveries. And she said, oh, I had a visitor recently, that Raymond Buckland. And we said, oh, really? We know we hadn't met him at that stage. What was he like? We asked her. She said, I don't know. She said, the World Cup was on. He left me a bouquet of flowers, but I wasn't answering the damn door. I could have told him what he could have done with his bouquet of flowers. Oh, poor Ray thought she was such a rude lady. And we had to appease Ray. And he said, I don't understand. I said, no, you don't, darling. That is her one big hobby. Football. And nothing gets between Doreen or between um, uh, Doreen and football. Um, basically, she just loved it so much. The devil himself could have knocked on the door, and she still wouldn't have answered it. I think even if the goddess had knocked on the door, she'd have said, "Go away, madam. Come back next week."